But I want us to turn in the scriptures, okay? So open your app or open your Bible, Proverbs 5, uh, 5 15 to 19. That's all I'm going to read right now. <clears throat> I'm going to save the other part for next week. You had it in your session today at the tables. Proverbs, this is the wisdom literature in the scriptures, poetry. Proverbs chapter 5, 15 to 19. Everyone got it? Proverbs 5, 15 to 19. Listen to what it says. Drink water from your own cistern, running water from your own well. Should your springs overflow in the streets, your streams of water in the public square? Let them be yours alone, never to be shared with strangers. May your fountain be blessed, and may you rejoice in the wife of your youth. A loving doe, a graceful deer, may her breasts satisfy you always. May you ever be captivated by her love. And I said this at the table, sometimes the Bible makes me blush. <laughs> and you can read, and probably you did this morning, read some scripture that's like, wow, it's kind of erotic. Wow. And, and this portion of scripture right here, this little bit that I'm taking from Proverbs, is a beautiful celebration. It's a celebration of sexuality. And I, I could spend a whole session, I have spent many sessions teaching about sex. You guys know I have no problem going there. And I could spend equal numbers of sessions talking about embodiment and about our bodies and how these things don't get discussed enough, in my opinion, in the church in a healthy way so that we can really be free from a lot of the stuff that we've all in some way and to some degree, to some extent or another, encountered. But this passage alone shows us the celebration and the glory and the beauty and the affirmation of touch, of physical touch and of sexuality. And the other thing I want you to notice from this passage is the pronouns. Very, very important. Listen, drink water from your own cistern, running water from your own well. Should your springs overflow in the, your streams of water, let them be yours alone. And it goes on and on, these pronouns, yours, yours. And so what I want to say to you right out of the shoot is, all that God creates is good. You, now, I know you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you don't know it. All that God creates is is good. Everything God created was good. Your body is good. It matters. This matter matters. And it's good. Sometimes we get into this dualism stuff. It's bad flesh. Your body is good. God created your body good. Receptors all over this body. And some are condensed in some areas. And God designed it that way. And it is good. God created and gave sex to a man and to a woman in the context of marriage, according to the scriptures. And it is good. He created it. It was his great idea. And he gave it to a man and a woman in the context of marriage in accordance with the scriptures. And it is good. 